amazing human beings, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new here, my name is Leila Mekdiva and today I'm happy to be back with another fashion video. I think it's been quite some time since I filmed fashion video where I actually give you guys tips. Obviously I post fashion lookbooks every Sunday but when it comes to Thursday uploads sometimes I make them about fashion but lately I've been doing them about all things but fashion so i'm happy to bring some fashion content back into your guys's lives and today we're going to be talking about key pieces for fall because if you guys haven't noticed days got colder shorter and darker so the only thing that can make these days better in my personal opinion is fashion and i am not a huge fan of fall because I'm more of a summer girl, but I love fall fashion and solely for that I'm always waiting for colder days to come because I cannot wait to wear all these things that today I'm gonna share with you guys. So if you're ready, without further ado, let's begin and let me share with you my key pieces for fall. Now first thing I want to start with is leather jackets, also known as biker jackets and this is not real leather because I do not wear real leather so this is obviously fall leather and this is leather jacket from Mango and I think black leather jacket is a must have because when it comes to colder days I really prefer neutrals and I think black is a must-have especially when it comes to biker jackets because it looks very sophisticated minimalistic but at the same time it's sort of a statement and whenever I wear a leather jacket I feel so much cooler and you can style this leather jacket with more feminine pieces because this would be such a grunge addition to your outfit but also you can style it with more casual outfits because obviously a leather jacket is not out there it's a very casual piece and if you guys would want to see how to style a leather jacket video then give this video a big thumbs up so that video will come sooner next must have in my full wardrobe is of course trench coat it actually was on my to buy list for ages and i never quite got to it but last fall i finally found this perfect mango trench coat oh this is second mango piece in this key fall pieces uh video which which is interesting because I, I didn't even think about that anyways this trench coat is from Mango and I really think that Mango creates really sophisticated and feminine pieces. And I actually filmed how to style trench coat video this spring so you might want to check it out to know how to style trench coat but I definitely will include this trench coat in my future fall outfit ideas videos so you guys better subscribe to see more of it. Next must have in my fall wardrobe is bomber jacket and this one I had since 2016-17 so it's been quite some time and I think bomber jacket has been on and off lately but now I think it's again on so I'm glad that I did not donate it or throw it away because I really love bomber jacket. I feel like when it comes to leather jacket it's more sophisticated while bomber jacket is more of a street style kind of vibe and you guys know I love me some street style vibe. Today I don't look like street style though I look very sophisticated. And next must have for your fall wardrobe in my personal opinion is denim jacket and specifically oversized denim jacket because first of all it just covers more of your body than for example if you buy a crop denim jacket because those are trendy as well but i prefer oversized ones because they're also more versatile you can style them with dresses with pants with skirts uh, shorts you know and you can definitely use this for layering not only in the fall but in the winter and it's gonna be keeping you warm 100% and especially now when it's like this transitional weather it might be hot in the beginning of the day and then at the end of the day it's already colder so by wearing denim jacket you can put under it some sweater and if it gets hotter you can take off the denim jacket and if it gets colder you can put it back on you know so i feel like uh when it comes to fall fashion it's a lot of a layering just like in the winter so denim jacket is definitely a must-have 
And next, fall wardrobe must have. I have three of them. <laughs> One is on me, and two are right here. And we're talking about oversized blazers. I feel like oversized blazer is more of a vibe now than, let's say, tailored blazer. It's definitely more of a thing of 2000s. Um, and now in 2020, I feel like you can't buy a tailored blazer. It just does not look cute. But oversized one, damn, you can style it with so many different things. You can style it up and down, you know, if you're going on a date, if you're going to work, if you're working in the office, if you are more of a, you know, creative person. Like, blazers are multi usable uh, pieces in your wardrobe so I definitely recommend you guys to get your hands on oversized blazers and as many colors as you can get. This blazer is black which I think I use so many times because black is always winning with so many different outfits you can style it and this one is from Zara. Then this oversized blazer is from H&M. It's white and I didn't actually wear it that much. It's new one in my closet so I hope I'm still gonna get use out of it before it gets colder because I feel like it's more of a summer vibe but either way I definitely can tell you I'm gonna be styling it in fall and the one I have on me is also H&M and I really love this one it's like it looks very cash but also business cash right i don't know i just love it and beige is my favorite color if you guys didn't know like i just love neutrals if you haven't noticed so definitely must have in my closet now we're moving to tops and let's start with shirts if i had to choose just one shirt it would definitely be white shirt because you can style it with so many different colors textures outfits for different occasions as well so white shirt is a must-have i got this one from zara it might sound weird but it took me quite some time to find perfect white shirt so this one is kind of oversized but at the same time not too much oversized you know it's not like shirt dress vibe it's still a shirt a bit oversized but at the same time it fits me well so i don't know if you can still get it i got it like a few months ago i'm sure you can still find something quite the same but either way white shirt no matter what you need to have it next item we have this turtleneck bodysuit and i just wanted to say turtleneck but i don't have just a turtleneck i think I think I have like crop top turtleneck, but I never just bought plain turtleneck because I just love turtleneck bodysuits because I think you can style them in more ways, you know, but I think just having turtleneck in the fall and winter is another great way to layer outfits and I need black turtleneck for sure. I just love bodysuits and turtlenecks together is just win-win and I actually made a video how to style turtleneck bodysuit so I don't know what else to tell you guys just I decided to include it because I think it's definitely a must-have if you don't have turtleneck yet and maybe consider buying turtleneck bodysuit because from my personal experience it just works better I don't know next closet essential for fall we have right here is a hoodie and I have quite a few hoodies but I decided to include this one and not bring all of them. Um, this one is cropped but I am not saying you have to have cropped hoodie. I have oversized hoodies, I have cropped hoodie and I love them all equally. I just love the hood that if you put this on and it rains and you don't have your umbrella you can just put on the hood and you know you're good. You are covered as much as possible. But also it's yet again like I love streetwear style and I love to combine a lot of times like feminine pieces with streetwear and therefore create quite unique outfits in my personal opinion. So I feel like hoodie is that great addition to my personal wardrobe when I want to add some some spiciness because quite a lot of my outfits are more feminine but sometimes I want to go there and like be a bad bee and a pink hoodie is great for that and of course it's not only for fall but you can still wear it in the winter and maybe even in the spring because it's still quite cold in the beginning. Okay so next must-haves in your fall wardrobe are knitwear pieces and specifically sweaters. I cannot live without sweaters because they're so warm and they actually keep me 
warm better than anything else well maybe hoodies as well but i think sweaters they're colorful they're different you know and it's just it, it's cozy it's warm it's nice do i need to explain myself i decided to show you guys three of my sweaters obviously i have more but it would be too long to show them all to you guys just to show you that i love me some neutrals but i also try to um get some colorful sweaters i don't know why when it comes to sweaters i really love to pick more colorful ones as weather gets gloomy and cold and it's kind of depressing at least my outfits are colorful and whenever I see more colorful pieces in my wardrobe and on me I gotta be honest I notice the mood changes that I become more positive and more chill so that's my personal life hack you can use it if you want to but of course neutrals I'm the queen of neutrals look at me like neutral queen so i love neutrals but i also try to buy more colorful pieces as well next item is midi dresses and i love midi dresses i love dresses in general but when it gets colder obviously you cannot wear midi dresses as much and i feel like fall is just asking for something cozy something that tells you that we switch from summer pieces to fall pieces so i love midi dresses nevertheless and i think they're not just stylish they're also very versatile and i have this one but i also have this midi dress that i usually wear in the summer but when it comes to fall wardrobe what i can do is wear this dress with t-shirt or turtleneck and it's such a bomb outfit and i feel so feminine and at the same time i'm still warm so that's a life hack number two <laughs> now we're moving to the bottom and let's start with skirts obviously because i love skirts if you guys don't know and in the fall i really prefer midi skirts and i have this skirt that is more like pleated and um I love any midi skirt. I love leather midi skirts. I love colorful midi skirts, but I decided to show you guys this one because it's more neutral and I love black. So here you go. I really think that as again it gets colder, I prefer to be ready to not froze my ass off. So even if I'm wearing a skirt, I still wanted to cover as much as possible because if i wear mini skirt obviously i'm not gonna go far that way next must have is white jeans and you heard it right i know that this might seem very summery but as i showed you guys in my how to style white jeans in transitional summer to fall outfits video these jeans are super versatile and you can definitely style them in the fall and I definitely think it's such a vibe. I get inspired a lot when I see girls wearing white jeans in the fall. It's definitely not as common and that's why you need to jump on the bandwagon and style white jeans in the fall because it's not as basic yet okay so let's be unusual let's be stylish let's be unique and get yourself some white jeans white pants and make sure to style them this fall and next fall wardrobe essential is leather skirt and i have two as of now i definitely want to get more leather skirts because i just feel like that's such a statement and as i love to keep my outfits casual and kind of basic i like to add some spiciness into them and i feel like leather skirt is that level of spiciness that i love in my outfits you know not too much but at the same time it's not as boring as if i would wear just a regular skirt so i have this black leather skirt and i can tell you for sure if you can only buy one leather skirt buy black one because black always goes with so many different outfits i just noticed now that i didn't zip it fully with <laughs> so i definitely style this one a lot and i even made a video on my channel is anybody surprised because i film video styling almost everything if there is something that you cannot find on my channel and you want me to style let me know because i'm always up for it but then there is also midi skirt as i said i love me some midi skirts you know and this is leather midi skirt so 
As I said, in the fall time, I try to cover my skin as much as possible because it does get windy. I definitely recommend you to get midi skirt that is leather because it's very stylish and feminine and leather right now is super trendy. Next must have is yet again leather but this time it's leather shorts and these ones are from Zara and I purchased them like this spring because as you guys might know leather shorts are super trendy right now and I wanted to get my hands on leather shorts for quite some time because I just saw this outfit that I wanted to recreate leather shorts with some tights and I feel like that's such a vibe in fall just tights with everything and anything and obviously you cannot style leather shorts in the summer because it's super hot but in the transitional weather and in the fall time with some tights on that's a must have like I definitely recommend you to get your hands on leather shorts try them out only I would recommend you to buy not tight leather shorts because I wouldn't feel myself comfortable personally but these ones are very free and next and the last bottom piece that I have in my video is leather leggings of course I had to include them I'm obsessed with leather right now so I'm not even sorry that I show you guys so many leather pieces leather leggings don't need to tell you more you see them everywhere I'm sure because they're super basic right now but I still like them and I don't care because I think you can style every basic item in a way that no one else can style it like that and it will be unique because because the way you style it makes it unique, you know? So I just love these leather leggings. I got them from Zara. Leather leggings that must have. I have a video styling them as well, so you guys better go and check it out. And now we're moving to shoes, and I have biker boots. These are Dr. Martens, classic. But you can find biker boots anywhere right now. Zara, Mango, all of them have it. But I would personally recommend you guys to get your hands on Dr. Martens because, yeah, it might be more expensive than to get it from Zara or like stores like that, but it is still more, you know, it's a history. By buying this, you're basically investing because I got these ones almost two years ago and they still look new and I love them and I would definitely get second pair of Dr. Martens. I'm just not sure if I want different color or like black. If I want them more chunky with the platform or I want like white ones, so I'm still thinking and as of now black ones that I have do it for me so I'm gonna keep them obviously and wear them. And next must have is ankle boots and these ones are from Mango. These ones are new. I haven't even worn them yet but these ones are from Zara and I just wanted to include both of them because I think black and beige is definitely my go-to colors if you guys haven't noticed I actually am wearing beige and black today as well so I always have something black I always have something beige so I thought that buying black and beige shoes for fall would be quite an investment because I could style them so many different ways and combine them with my outfits color wise and of course it's up to you and your personal style how you want to style your shoes but I personally cannot live without ankle boots and for me it's a must have but if you are not feeling the same way it's okay you just gotta find something that works for you but for me fall always means ankle boots with some heel on and i just feel so good and the last piece that i wanted to include is this accessory piece and it's gold chain necklace it's quite popular right now i'm not sure if i included it in my summer video which probably have to check it and like not included if I, you know, included it already. But I think, you know what, I'm gonna include it either way because I just really think that this accessory is the best accessory that I bought lately because usually accessories that I buy, they like one, two months and they're gone and no one wears them anymore. But gold chain necklace is a culture, you know, and it's again like, it's a more of a streetwear style, but I think now, you can find those it girls on Instagram styling it and always wearing some gold chain. This one is from H&M and it was, I'm not sure how much, but I think like something under 10 euros. So I know, right? It looks so much more expensive than it was and I love it. So just decided to include it in this video. It's definitely not like, oh, you guys have to have it, but if you need to get some advice on what accessory to buy this 
full, I would just include this one because I think if you buy this one, it will stay in your wardrobe at least until next fall. And that is it for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was quite a lot to process, but I just decided to include every little thing that I love in the fall. Cannot wait to make this video for winter as well. And if you guys haven't seen my summer key pieces, I'll leave the link up here so you can go and check it out. Just, you know, in case, I know summer is gone, but maybe you wanna see it. I'm trying to make it a seasonal thing where I share with you guys key pieces for each season so so far so good gonna keep on track gonna keep making these fashion videos for you guys if you want to see more fashion videos from me let me know what would you want to see because i need some help because i don't know what you guys would love to see either way if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my new videos click that bell to get notified about my new videos i love you guys bye